All right, with AMD only offering DDR5 support and AM5, do you think this will put them at a price disadvantage to Intel with DDR4 slash DDR5? Um, so, well, we expect that Zen 4 will launch with mostly the high-end parts initially because of the DDR5 pricing and availability, which it, it, it's slowly coming down and improving, but I don't think it'll be enough where you would want to pair it with the $200 part. It's not going to be DDR4 pricing. No. I think you can get, I, I think you can get like maybe 32 gig DDR5 kits for a minimum like around $200, which is still About double. twice the price, yeah. Still double, slightly less than double the price of DDR4. Mm -hmm. But obviously this will have an impact on pricing mm -hmm. of, you know, the whole AM5 platform. But yeah, as you say, launching the high-end parts first kind of mitigates that to some degree. Yeah, and I hate to harp on about this, but- for me, this is somewhat irrelevant and a non-issue. The, the the key thing, if AMD comes out and says, we will be supporting officially this socket for the next four years or the next three or four generations, then I think that would, for a lot of people, make it worth going for DDR5 now, spending the bit of extra money and getting a decent motherboard, knowing that you know three generations later, they can very likely get substantially more CPU performance with a drop-in option. Mm. So, yes, of course, with Old Lake, if you go DDR4 because it's cheaper and that's sort of your competitor point. Not only do you, you sort of motherboard useless. Yeah. Um, Memory's going to be useless soon. Memory's going to be so. useless. So, yeah, I, I think that would warrant paying a bit of a premium now because at least you know that memory. And look, yeah, the memory may not be the greatest memory three years down the track. And you can make that argument with DDR4 uh, because like first gen Ryzen didn't have yep. great DDR4 memory support. But still, if you use that same memory today with even a 5800X 3D or uh, Ryzen 5 5600, you're not getting the most optimal performance, but it's very near. It's not yep. like it's, you know, half the performance. You're getting very close to what, you know, you, you see in reviews. So yeah, for me, really the AM5 commitment there is what I want to see more than anything.